Okay, so today we're gonna talk about the Steam Thrasher. Is it good? Oh yeah! <laughs> Man, this is a fun weapon to use, holy cow. So the Steam Thrasher is, is a beast. This thing has a super wide cleave. Um, it has a spinning, a continuous spinning alternate attack. So if you wanna just spin in a circle, you just hold the hold your heavy attack down, you just keep on spinning. That of course is more effective if you're using a, a crit build, not an attack speed build. Now, I prefer using attack speed builds. I think that the best perk loadout for this weapon is attack speed, armor, energy, attack speed, and damage to slowed and snared with slowed and snared as the passive perk. Uh, you'll see the one that I used during the uh, during the, the the video is actually exactly that uh, and it's and it's a complete monster this weapon is so sick it attacks super fast looks super cool has a satisfying you know slicing sound um hits tons of enemies does tons of damage um yeah you slow everything down and just do tons of damage has good good synergy with your uh, hero loadouts. I, I prefer using the assassin, uh, assassination as your hero ability. This is the ultimate edition reskin. Uh, you can use just the regular assassin Sarah to do the same thing. Uh, this gives you a 90% damage bonus after the fifth attack, which, you know, is crazy. 90% bonus damage is absolutely nuts. So you want to use Dim Mac in the uh, in the team perk. Uh, if you do this, you'll pretty much be immortal and you'll never take any damage ever. Uh, you'll be regenerating shields every time you kill something. And just overwhelming, overwhelming amount of sustain. Uh, Scythe to meet you is a is actually a better support perk than it is a primary perk. Uh, this is Harvester Sarah from the Neon set. Gives you an extra 25% damage against slowed and snared targets, so it's very important to have slowed and snared on your um, on your weapon. Uh, as a commander perk, it's only 62% damage compared to the 90 that you'll get from assassination. So it's way better. Uh, it, it applies a snare, which again, you don't need because you can already get a snare on the weapon itself. Um, although I do believe these effects stack, it is totally unnecessary. You do not need that kind of slow. Um, the slow and snare of the weapon itself is more than enough to get the job done. Uh, then we have Anatomy Lessons. This is Whiteout Fiona, giving you an extra 15 crit rate, giving you those extra crits, raising your total damage. Awesome. Corrosive Strikes is Deadly Blade Crash. This makes it so that when you do get those crits, uh, you're going to do uh, <laughs> an extra 30% snare and affliction, which deals bonus damage for three seconds. This is really, really effective when you're fighting Smashers specifically. Um, definitely an awesome smasher killing tool. Uh, after that, there's really not a lot of uh, a lot of. I didn't have a lot of options that were really mattered to me, so I threw on fleet for some extra uh, movement speed with fleet foot Ken, 12.5 movement speed. Oh yeah! And I went and put survivalist with survivalist Jonesy to give you that little bit of extra healing every time you killed something for for that sustain. But honestly, that was almost completely pointless too because this guy's so strong, so nuts, and doesn't take any damage that. Uh, you barely ever need to heal. 
Uh, and if you do need to heal, you got your adrenaline rush. Um, so yeah, yeah, very, very crazy loadout. This is, uh, that's what I, I used with, <laughs> with the Thrasher. And yeah, frankly, it was, uh, it was almost too easy. We didn't raise the power level to 130. Uh, we went and stomped over top of them like they were nothing, like it wasn't even there. Using a 106 Thrasher, and uh, and yeah, get you some. It's one of the most powerful sides in the entire game. This thing is uh, just a beast. It's got a great, great uh, heavy attack. If uh, if you ever get heavily surrounded, you could just do a barbarian spin right through the whole crowd, <laughs> smash everything. So yeah, Steam Thrasher. Is it good? Oh yeah awesome weapon all right guys i hope you enjoyed this quickie review uh if you did like and subscribe leave a thumbs up and uh yeah comment down below if uh there's any other reviews you'd like me to cover catch you guys next time